How's it going YouTube? Make sure that you drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to show support for this channel. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you already have. Belleville is the largest city in the Metro East region. Metro East refers to the Illinois side of the St. Louis metro area. Nonetheless, it's time to go check out the city. I do start off the video in Swansea, which is just north of Belleville. Belleville is the largest city in Metro East and in Southern Illinois. If you are unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep track of the real time that it takes me to drive in the bottom left corner of the screen. Swansea is home to 13,000 people, and in the last 10 years, Swansea saw its first population loss since 1940. Swansea has some of the lowest violent and property crime numbers out of all of the Metro East cities. The median household income here is $77,800 per year, and 40% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The median owner-occupied housing unit value is $166,000, and the public schools rate above average. High schoolers in Swansea either attend Belleville East or Belleville West. Both Swansea and Belleville are in the region known as Metro East. Metro East is the Illinois side of the St. Louis metro area. The 2010 census count shows that 700,000 people lived in Metro East, while today there are around 680,000. Illinois has lost more people than any other state in the last 10 years, and most of that is due to the state's property taxes. It's safe to assume that most of the people that have left Metro East have moved over to the Missouri side of the St. Louis metro area, as data shows that Illinois has a negative net migration number with Missouri. It won't be too much longer before we're in Belleville as we're still in Swansea. Swansea didn't really start to grow until around 1990 or so, as in the 1980 U.S. Census, the suburb had only 5,500 people. In 2010, 13,430 people lived here before seeing its first population decline in the last 10 years, as the latest estimates show that 13,350 people live here today, which is not too much lower from the previous census. Among the most well-known residents is Clayton Keller. Keller was selected by the Arizona Arizona Coyotes with the seventh overall pick in the 2016 NHL entry draft, making him one of five first round picks from the St. Louis area in that particular draft. Keller went on to set the record for points scored as a rookie for the Arizona Coyotes franchise, and he set the record for the fewest games needed to reach 100 career points for the franchise as well. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight.
One thing that I noticed while I was here and thought was odd was the layout of the suburbs throughout Metro East. There are the older suburbs that line the Mississippi River, and then there seems to be a large land gap between the older suburbs and the newer Outer Ring suburbs. That gap consists of a mix of farmland and woods. For instance, where we are now is pretty far east from the freeway loop that circles around the St. Louis metro area, which is I-255, and if you look at a satellite map of the area, you can see that most of I-255 goes through that gap of farmland land and woods in between the rings of suburbs in Metro East. The road that we're on right now is one of the few roads that cut through the Metro East region in a straight north and south direction. A lot of the roads out this way can be tricky to navigate, as many of the main thoroughfares go in a diagonal pattern heading to and from East St. Louis. There's also a lot of name changes on continuous stretches of roads as well, so that just adds to the confusion. And just like that, we are in Belleville, the county seat of St. Clair County. Up ahead is Belleville's downtown area. Belleville is the largest city in Metro East and in Southern Illinois, as it is home to 40,000 people, which is down from a 2010 census count of nearly 45,000. We'll see if Belleville can stop the trend of people leaving, a challenge that many Metro East and Illinois cities are currently facing. The violent and property crime rates in Belleville are slightly above average, but that's not anything too crazy to worry about. The public school schools here rank above average as well. Make sure to drop a like for that amazing insight. On this street, it looks like there's a lot of nice restaurants and bars to go out and get drunk at.
Belleville was founded in 1814 and was settled by an abundance of German immigrants. A lot of the older houses in this part of the city have German style architecture. In 1870, an estimated 90% of the city's population was German. The old Belleville Historic District was recognized in 1974. The biggest downside to Belleville is drug usage. With being in close proximity to St. Louis, drugs have been a big issue over here for the last decade. The St. Louis metro area is one of the largest hubs for illegal drugs given its central location in the US. And yes, there are drugs everywhere, but certain cities and areas experience things like drug overdose deaths at a higher rate than average. And not only Belleville, but almost all of Metro East has this issue. With the stay-at-home orders in place for this year, more people have been resorting to drug usage. St. Clair County is on pace to have 110 drug overdose deaths and has already seen 18 suicides. To put that in perspective, there were 82 drug overdose deaths in St. Clair County last year alone, along with 19 suicides. So if suicide numbers continue to head up in the rate that it's going in St. Clair County for the year 2020, by the time that this year ends, they will have had double the amount of suicides that they had in the year 2019. The median value of owner-occupied housing in Belleville is $95,000. This isn't a horrible place to live if you can avoid the drugs. As I mentioned earlier, crime rates are pretty low and the schools here perform above average. The low housing value is probably due to nobody wanting to move here as jobs are scarce. And it's an older city so a lot of the homes are old and are in need of renovation. Another thing that will make it hard for Belleville to reverse the trend of population loss is that it is located in the state of Illinois, which is a state that nobody is moving to nowadays. The property taxes here are the second highest in the country, and it's also one of the least business-friendly states. Belleville is located not too far from the Missouri border, and financially for a business, it makes much more sense to set up shop in Missouri than it does to open up anywhere in Illinois. Among Belleville residents, 24% of adults 25 and older have a bachelor's degree or higher. The median household income here is $46,000 per year, and 16% of the city's residents are living in poverty. Belleville has a lot of history to go along with its German roots. Traditionally, Belleville is a blue-collar city as manufacturing jobs helped grow the economy when it first began. At one point, Belleville was known as being the stove capital of the world. Belleville is home to the first brewery in Illinois and the first electric trolley in the state. The oldest public library in Illinois is located here as well. The Jelly Belly candy brand actually began here too, but that's now headquartered in Fairfield, California.
This is East High School, one of the three high schools in the city, and their mascot is the Lancers. NFL linebacker Chase Allen is a graduate. Allen went undrafted to the Miami Dolphins and played there from 2017 to 2019. Currently, Allen is a free agent. As this video comes to an end, things didn't necessarily go as planned. I was going to go through some other neighborhoods and then go all the way down West Main Street towards the East St. Louis border, but then rain happened. The plan for this trip was for it to be four days long. The weather forecast at the time said partly cloudy skies all throughout Illinois for the four days that I had planned with 10% chance of rain. I often ran into this problem where there was very light rain and that was just enough to get onto the camera lens to make it unviewable, so that was a challenge throughout this entire four day trip. I was only able to film two Metro East videos on this day when the original plan was to film five Metro East videos before the end of the day. These light rain showers that came through on this day, along with a few others the following days, kept delaying the other videos that I had planned, so I wasn't able to film everything that I wanted to on this four-day trip, and I had to try to improvise quite a bit to make it all worth it. The struggle was real on this one, my friends. Anyway, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload new and amazing content just like this video. We'll see you next time. Peace!